Hey guys, welcome. Today we'll be taking a look inside the Samsung Galaxy S20. I will be doing a full teardown for you guys. And I can't wait to see what Samsung came up with this time. Especially the new camera setup. Alright, let's dive in. Like we have seen on all recent Samsung devices, the back glass is held down by adhesive all around the frame. I will first need to apply heat all around to soften up the adhesive. I'm using my hot air station set at 350 degrees celsius, which is pretty hot but as long as I continuously move it around we should be okay. I will be starting the separation by using a blade at the bottom of the glass. And then once I have an entry point I will be using a thin plastic opening tool with some isopropyl alcohol, or a plastic playing card will work as well. I like using a razor to begin the separation because I'm able to easily insert the blade between the glass and the frame and then have the razor go under the adhesive, leaving the adhesive intact when the glass is taken off. Alright, there you have it. Surprisingly, the glass was easier to remove than the previous models. It does help the fact that the glass has not been shattered. And like the previous model, the S20's fingerprint sensor is under the screen in the front. Next, we have 15 Phillips screws to remove. Nice thing about Samsung, all 15 of those screws are the same size, so you don't have to worry about the screw placement. While I do this, if you enjoyed this video so far, please hit the like button below, this will help me a lot. Ok, now we'll be removing the wireless charging coil. The coil uses these contact points to connect to the main board. Let's unplug the battery first. Then we can remove the bracket which has an antenna built in. Next we have the bottom bracket. It has a built in speaker as in previous models. There are three ribbon cables here. This is the main ribbon cable connecting the charging port dock to the main board. And this is the antenna ribbon cable connecting the charging port dock to the main board. And this last one is the screen connector ribbon cable. There is one screw holding down the main board. SIM tray will need to be removed before the board can come out as well as three connectors. First the volume and power button connector. Then the sensor connector. And lastly the front camera connector. Now we can lift up the main board. Let's go ahead and remove the rear camera module. Instead of having all three cameras on the same module, Samsung made the third camera separate. Looks like they were able to sp save on space for that big battery by stacking the board like the iPhone 10. The charging port dock is held in with three Phillips screws. I really like how easy Samsung has made it to change these out. To remove the ear speaker, we will need to heat the front a bit to loosen the adhesive. The ear speaker looks exactly like the past few models. The front camera looks like it's completely glued in. It's not just an adhesive, it looks like some kind of a silicone. 
This might make it a problem with screen refurbishing or when you need to replace the camera. I guess we will see later. Moving on to the battery. This is a big 4000 mAh battery. In previous models the battery was held in by adhesive just around the edges. It looks like Samsung decided to put adhesive on the entire battery. Still, the battery isn't too difficult to remove with the right technique. Alright, now all that is left is a screen attached to the frame and a few small parts. I will leave that for another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also hit that notification bell for more tech videos.